I'm thinking like, is there any explicit reference to, you know, 21 and above drinks in this game, even if just through spirits? Oh, through spirits, I don't know. There, there are like, there are a yeah. lot. Of, there are a lot of spirit characters. I mean, there's the bartender from Bayonetta. Oh, there yeah, we we're go. done. Yeah. Though he's not holding one. Anyway, thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have a set going. It is Maditon versus Dill, Sora versus Rob. A matchup that Dill is more than more than a little versed in, I would say. Yeah, obviously having the uh, the Sora representation here at Xeno with Helper, but Maddyton starting to show something off, getting some good low percent combos started on Dill. Ooh, all right, starting with some gyro pressure. Dill trying to trying to set up this uh, ledge trap, but the Faragas making the space for Maddyton. Careful. What are we doing? That was supposed to be a wave bounce uh, neutral B. I you, know that. You hate to see it. It happens to me all the time. It's actually really annoying. I mean, thankfully it didn't cost you a stock in a very important game one. That are you I, that serious? I, that I've seen. I, 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 all the time, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? I said that I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you haven't casted a set where I've killed myself like that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Not like that, at least. It's okay. We we all like I play Sonic. There is no there is an unspoken law about Sonic players that you know once every bracket we will SD through means out of our own control. It's just the contract. You see it at all levels of play. It, it's the yeah it is the blood contract we signed playing this character. And I'm surprised Dill did not capitalize on the uh, re grab there. Thunderga, not Ooh, quite. yeah, not safe at that distance. You're alive. You're recovering. Now you're Ooh, not. Oh, nope. Okay, catching the uppy. Dill now a very healthy two stocks ahead. That gyro still active, still able to catch Maddyton on coming down, and Dill almost getting a combo started out of it. Good recognition to the Thundogger startup, because that definitely would have killed, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just spike him on top of his uh, spiky head. Ooh, all right, I liked waiting on the last Sonic Blade Whoa. to come up, but Maddington's bleeding pretty hard right now. Yep, once again, waiting on that last Sonic Blade. Still just sitting comfortably here at this ledge. You're alive, you're Sora. You're alive, you're Sora. You're alive, you are Sora Kingdom Hearts! His name is Sora Kingdom Hearts. I mean, there's no last name that we that they haven't put out anyway. No, it's Sora Hearts. Of course, what was I thinking? And JV2 going handily to Dill. Fun fact: Did you know the longer you are off stage at any given point, the longer you have for invincibility frames upon grabbing the ledge? It is, it is a thing that is not very spoken of often. I don't think it's even in the game's own tips. Which is interesting because they sure have almost everything else. Right. So the Maddie Ton is opting to bring us to Smashville. I have to imagine we're seeing a Pichu switch, especially huh? if we're going. Really? No. Okay. Uh, Maddie right. just doesn't like the matchup, I guess. I don't know. E or matchup EXP? Who's to say, really? I do know the rats love the mono flats, but I guess we're gonna see how Maddyton does with the Sora on Smashville. All right, looking for that falling up air to try and get things started. Rob, obviously, you know, huge combo food, but Maddyton just hasn't been able to find too many meaningful hits so far in the There's set. not been a single noob attended, or attempted yet, rather. Cool. Dill almost got the longest Aegis Reflector setup I've ever seen, but not quite. Wow, I'm surprised that reached the way it did. Like, I know it has homing properties, it's just... very awkward angle. And Dill waited for Maddington to press a button there in disadvantage, but wasn't able to capitalize on it, unfortunately. But now we're stuck at the ledge once again. Yup, we're up ledge trapping on 
Smashville. And unfortunately, because you opted to bring this to Smashville, you are more prone to getting exploded at the ledge by Rob Things. Oh, I like the beer verse. Alright, getting some good damage off of it. But Dill just fighting her way into this center stage with the neutral air. Nice! Great weight on the air dodge, though. And Maddie 10 bringing us to even stocks. Dead even game right now. But Dill just taking that stage control for okay, herself. Here we go, here we go. Alright, forcing the low recovery using the Thundaga. Nice and safe shield pressure there with the neutral airs. Yeah, I love this more patient play from Maddyton right now. Still, though, starting to set up Fight. another I like ledge trap. Okay, I don't know what these counters are. That's like the third one attempted and has done nothing. I guess to try and catch either Laser or Gyro. Um, except it doesn't, it's a deflector, not a reflector, so you're not even getting that much off of it. And they're not strong enough to kill. So if um, Dill shoots the gyro from the ledge, unless it's fully charged, it's going to stay on the stage and it'll be Maddie 10. So you can use that to control space and get it out of play. Ah, see, there, that's why we have, you know, the helpful tri-cast with production on the other end of things. Ooh, what a parry from Dill, but not able to parry the second two hits. Now Madison in the driver's seat, the quick 67 on Dill and climbing. Dill having some trouble getting down, even with the uh, the rock burner. Nice catch, by the way. <laughs> Blazaga shot Jaro all the way up and over, and Dill just like, no, nah, it's back Ooh. to mine. Thunder. Oh, unfortunately getting clipped before the uh, last hit. Ooh, that you is passed a, the DI check. It's a long ass dash attack, and so that's an easy punish for Dill. Now Dill gets to play the ledge trapping game. Wait it out. Yep, it's a nice patient play. No gyro in hand right now for Dill. Woo! Oh, still living though. But that gyro in the center is Dill's Rock running out of speed. Rob do be big though. Why did it send it, that way? In, an interesting angle to be sure. With a lot right, of rage. The wage? Almost. Wow, just barely not getting caught by the last hit of that up tilt. And not losing the stock for the failed uh, to punish anyway. And now it is. Yeah, finally. Forward air. Now Maddie Tone. You have 173%. You know you do not have to approach for anything. Just putting that out there. Do not get reversal at any point, because Rob will do that. Okay, we're good. Doesn't matter. No reversals to be found here is Maddie 10. I, I was projecting it through Because <laughs> that, yes. ha that has happened to me more times than I care to admit. 20 too many times, even. And it's sad every time it happens. Right, so now, if you're Dill, where would you want to bring this back to? Hovering over battlefields right now, I think definitely a pretty good stage for Rob, but also, I mean, that was that was game one, right? Battlefield? Game one was Battlefield, yes. Yeah. Bring over, the thinking about PS2, perhaps? No, it looks like we are going straight back to Battlefield where Dill won right. at game one. It's but a fairly decent Sora stage. Yeah, we're going to see, considered. you know, Maddie Tim now with the uh, the momentum from game two. Hopefully we're not going to be seeing another two, SD at like one, 50. Go. That definitely did set the pace of game one, didn't it? Yeah, okay. game one definitely looked a little hopeless for Maddie Tim, but right now he is uh, definitely starting to feel the hope and the power of friendship. Game three. You know that good Disney trice. What a catch on the gyro as well. A good up tilt train started. But Madison with the Sonic Blades keeping the pressure on Dill right now. I think it's understated just how good of a neutral tool Fire Aug is. Because it, you know, it controls space, obviously. It's shockingly more plus than it has any right to be. And it just starts combos. 
Yeah, for like uh, for all of the space that it controls, it's also just a fantastic engage tool. I'd, ar I'd argue it's like its utility is just as good as charge shot, except for the fact that you know once you use it, you have to cycle through two other spells in succession. Maddyton with the stock lead, game three. Di check, relevant. Ooh, waiting out the counter. We saw a lot of that in game one as well. Oh Yo, my. thank you for the subscription, Live Life Awesome 17. Thank you, Liv. Oh god. Ooh, uh, catching the Sonic Blade and Dill now bringing us to even stock, dead even game. One, two, three. Ooh, resetting on the top platform. Unfortunately, Dill not able to follow up. Ooh. Bill now reset, kind of resetting to that long range game plan, kind of using the laser as an engagement tool of her own. Now we, now we do have context as to why Sora likes to throw. Okay, that was about to be something disgusting. Didn't quite pan out. We do have context now as to why Sora is throwing out counter versus Gyro. That said, Dill is playing around it like pretty consistently, so you know how much is it worth going for now as opposed to just picking it up yourself? Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of gyro play from Maddyton so far in this set. Alright, Dill looking for one of those like fast edge guards once again. We saw in game one and stock one. Go the gyro sending in the stage for the stage Ooh, spike, you, but the back air you hung catching on. the ledge hang. Yeah, you hung on a little too long, buddy boy. Now, can Maddie make up the difference before it's, you know, before things get a little too out of hand? Wow, I'm surprised that actually didn't go, uh, that went unpunished, rather. I love this spacing from Dill right now. Finally, just Ooh. getting barely tagged by the back hit of the neutral air, almost leading to a stock for Maddyton. No but rage, unfortunately, is going to keep Dill a kicking. Yeah, there was the vision was there, but there was no way to like link from that awkward angle. Again, caught Dill. you with the American air dodge. Watch yourself. Ooh, almost catching with the arm rotor. And tech Dill's making this back easy. Oh, no, no opportunity to tech. One oh five now on Maddyton. He's got to make something oh, happen here no. from the ledge. But we have more robbed Deep ledge freeze? trapping okay. to deal with. Real life. Nah. Oh no! Dill getting a little High bit too hilarious. She's like, I got it right back for you. You like to spin? I like to spin too. What's Beyblade up in here? There's no way. No, still living. No laser charge on deck for Dill, but unfortunately, that was at that you got watched at such an angle where there was no way you were not getting geared for your troubles. The set going to Dill with a very, very good adaptation on Maddyton's part, all things considered. Definitely great adaptations from Maddyton. Uh, you know, coming back after that really hopeless feeling game one and taking game two. But also, I want to point out the adaptations from Dill really, you know, cleaning up her spacing around Maddyton's burst range, that back air range, that neutral air range. And Dill was just getting so much mileage off of the, uh, you know, using gyro and such to whiff punish. Okay, oh, that's why they went for... Why did he go for Sonic Blade there? That's... Oh, but that wouldn't have reached, right? From where? Right there. That oh, would absolutely would have reached. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would no, it? He's, okay. he's fine. He would have absolutely would have reached. You can, the, uh, you can do Sonic Blade from, like, the PS2 Blast Zone, you would make it back. That does seem perilous, though, because it is Rob. It does limit your options, but it's also, like, if he... So the issue is with the first Sonic Blade, you have to, after doing an up B, you have to go horizontal. Right. So regardless, like he's putting himself in a crappy position if he does uh, up if he does a uh, up B. Uh huh. Because uh, if Rob sees that he does up B in whatever position, if he goes left, he's gonna get down aired. And if he tries to go right and then go left left, he's gonna probably get down aired anyways because uh, it's very uh, easy to time it unless like you actually figure out what your opponent's gonna do like on the spot. Mm. But now we know, and again, well fought. We will be seeing Maddie Tun 
later, I presume, in Loser's Top 24. Um, so I... I see, oh. I see numbers sitting down, so I have, and, I have no idea if 13, like, returned to the building. No, so it's going to be numbers versus Ob1. Oh, uh, Ob1 has, requ has requested that we, uh, that we completely do something about privacy or something or other. I don't really care. I'm just going to completely destroy the focus on the second player camera and make it look like garbage. <laughs> I'm not sure... What that means, but shh, all right. We've got John we, Numbers. We shall versus accommodate as best we can for this upcoming ditto. John Numbers versus the the mystery individual. We should get like, because we have like the the uh, the player mics. We should like pitch those down. <laughs> We're not using those. Aww. Wait, are there player mics? There are player mics. Yeah. They, just don't, they just don't really use them. That's funny. I had no idea. Oh, uh, ah! Ah! 